What up, what up everybody? This is your boy coming back at you with another review. I hope you're down to clown today because I am reviewing it. Thought it'd be a good time to do this since Halloween is right around the corner and this movie's been out for more than a, more than a month now. It is written by three writers too many and it's directed by Andy Muschietti. This story comes from Stephen King's very popular 1986 novel of the same name. I just want to preface that I hate the name of this movie because it's so easy to refer to its name. I, I said, said it twice, twice there. there. There was a two-part television movie adaptation that came out in 1990 which starred Tim Curry as Pennywise. I only remember watching bits and pieces of part two. I don't really remember part one that well. I do vividly remember the scene where they open up the fridge and the guy's head is in there and he's talking shit to everybody in the room. <laughs> You're still here? We never expected you to stick around. Nice nose job. No one would ever suspect. Wheezy, how's your sex life? What's your sex life? I remember thinking to myself, um, yeah, what, what the, the fuck, fuck is, is this? this? Anyways, this newest iteration would be the first time that Stephen King's novel would be taken to the big screen and not just television. It follows a group of kids, aka the Losers Club, who suspect a shape-shifting demonic clown named Pennywise is terrorizing their town and is also responsible for the disappearance of several children in the area. Pennywise is played by Bill Skarsgård, who's really creepy in this movie. Shit, he's really creepy. And this clown's goal is to pretty much feed off the terror of other children and uh, uh, eat them sometimes. I think the whole premise of a demonic clown following you around and toying with you and Trying to kidnap you and bite your face off is kind of unsettling. So yeah, I personally don't like clowns and I really don't know many people who do. And I think that's part of the reason why this was such a good move for Warner Brothers for making this film. Everyone hates clowns. A lot of people are familiar with Stephen King's novel and everyone loves to go and watch horror movies. So kudos to Warner Brothers for making a good business decision, especially during a time when clown terror is on the rise, apparently. What pisses me off is the studio takes this great premise and gets a lot out of it, but it's still tainted with a pretty typical approach to horror films. The whole idea behind this movie is that everyone is afraid of something or it, or rather it is the personification of what people are scared of. So the movie very effectively introduces most of the kids in this film by having Pennywise exploit their fears and scare the shit out of them one at a time. And this goes on relentlessly for like an hour and it was a great way to introduce these characters. It made a lot of the film exciting, but there are just so many jump scares that it becomes pretty exhausting and repetitive after a while. It happens so frequently that you can almost predict how the next scare is going to play out. Now, that's not to say there aren't genuinely creepy moments in this film. There's actually a couple. But in order to talk about them, I have to issue a spoiler alert because I'm going to talk about some parts of the story that I don't want to ruin for you if you want to watch the film and not know anything. So, yeah, there's your warning. Don't say I didn't warn you and go to this point in the video if you don't want to hear them. And three, two, one, go. So yeah, for the opening scene, I wasn't expecting Pennywise to bite Georgie's fucking arm off and then drag him into the sewer to meet his death. It's a rated R movie and it's certainly not the most horrific thing I've ever seen, but it really was unapologetic the way they did it. You don't actually see Pennywise like bite down through his bone and rip his arm off and everything. Your mind kind of throws that in for you, but the way it's done is still pretty horrific. It's still pretty terrifying. You know, this kid's trying to crawl away with the one arm he has left. He's like bleeding profusely and he's just getting dragged while he's like screaming at the top of his lungs. Sounds, Sounds like, like a family friendly movie if I ever saw one. Pennywise in general was really creepy in this film. Bill Skarsgård does a fantastic job playing the role. He does this really cool thing with his voice where it sounds really menacing even when he's whispering. And he does this weird thing with his eyes where they're looking in two different directions if you pay close attention to it. It's really strange. The bully in this film is insane. His name's Henry Bowers. I don't know the name of the actor who plays him, but he's this vicious character who goes around terrorizing the main characters. And he even stabs his father in the neck at one point after Pennywise convinces him to, which was pretty fucked up. There's also a sexually abusive parent in this film and the scenes involving that parent are often very uncomfortable and very unsettling to watch as you can imagine. 
There was a lot of heavy stuff in this movie that really took me off guard that I didn't really think Warner Brothers was gonna show to the extent that they did. And what's crazy is all those moments don't involve jump scares. They let the horror of the situation speak for itself. I think this film overall is kind of a mixed bag. I really like the story. The characters were really great. They were interesting. They had very clear character arcs. The concept is very relatable. The performances across the board are great. The design of Pennywise and the special effects they use in certain scenes were done very well. And this film never felt boring. I just wish the film didn't tell me when I'm supposed to be scared by having obnoxious jump scares accompanied by loud clanging noises. That shit gets old. One other thing that I didn't understand is where the fuck are the parents in this film? These kids get seriously injured throughout and there's only one parent who ever notices. One of them even gets their stomach lacerated in three different places by Pennywise and everyone kind of just ignores it. Is someone gonna call Child Protective Services and help this poor kid before he bleeds out? I don't know guys, I like this film. It was kind of annoying sometimes, but it was exciting. So I'll give it a three and a half out of five. Thanks for watching this review, everybody. You were so kind. Uh, let me know what you thought about this film in the comments section below, along with uh, any other movie recommendations that you might have for me to review in the future. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button down below or share this video or both, whichever you prefer. And if you dig the channel, then subscribe to the channel. Thanks again, guys. This is your boy Jay all day, every day. Uh, have a great Halloween and don't dress up as freaky clowns trying to intimidate people. Yeah, that's not a good idea. Signing off until next time.